हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल बायोलॉजी बाय डॉक्टर एन एस जैन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द सेल बायोलॉजी एंड दैट इज नॉन एज द प्लास्टिड द टर्म प्लास्टिड वाज फर्स्ट गिवन बाय अ साइंटिस्ट नॉन एज हीकल एंड देर वाज वन मोर साइंटिस्ट नॉन एज द शिम्पर हु क्लासिफाइड द प्लास्टिड्स इन थ्री कैटेगरीज दीज आर द थ्री कैटेगरीज the very first category is leucoplast the second category is the chromoplast and the third category is the chloroplast very first this leuco what is the term leuco means leuco means colorless so these are the colorless plastids and they are not concerned with photosynthesis they are not concerned with photosynthesis they are present in the underground parts and their chief function is they are meant for storage and the leucoplast are divided into three categories amyloplast elioplast and proteinoplast this classification is done on the basis of storage amyloplast store starch elioplast store fats and oils and the proteinoplast store the protein proteinoplast are also called as alluroplast proteinoplast are also called as alluroplast so this classification is done on the basis of what substance they are storing amyloplast store starch elioplast store fats and oils proteinoplast store the proteins now coming to the second type of the plastids that is known as the chromoplast what does this mean chromo says chromo means colored plast means plastids colored plastids these are colored plastids okay what is their role they are imparting the color except green color they impart all color the different petals and the different colors of the fruits what you see in the surrounding are just because of the chromoplast only so these were the leucoplast and the chromoplast but the very important plastid on which we have to study in detail description is the chloroplast basically chloroplast are the green plastids and the chloroplast are concerned with the photosynthesis and hence they are also called as photosynthetic organelle and the chloroplast are found in the leaves they are also designated as the largest cell organelle now when we study the chloroplast you must know about the size shape number and structure also let's have a look on the size we are talking about the size of the chloroplast we are studying in detail the chloroplast now size we know that size is 4 micron to 8 micron they are more big than the mitochondria also that's why they are also called as what largest cell organelle why they are known as largest cell organelle because their size is 4 micron to 8 micron which is more than mitochondria also next comes the shape what type of shape they are having to so shape in higher plants in higher plants their shape may be their shape may be lens shaped they may be ovoid means oval shape or they may be spheroid spheroid means what spherical so they may be spherical they may be ovoid they may be lens shaped but greatest variation in shape is seen in algae in algae 
कप शेप क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी प्रेजेंट कप शेप क्लोरोप्लास्ट द क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी गर्डल शेप द क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी स्टार शेप द क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी स्पाइरल शेप द क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी रेटिकुलेट रेटिकुलेट मीन्स नेटवर्क लाइक शेप एंड द क्लोरोप्लास्ट में ऑल्सो भी डिस्कोइड नाउ लेट्स हैव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑल्सो द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कप शेप क्लोरोप्लास्ट इज क्लेमाइडो मोनास द गर्डल शेप क्लोरोप्लास्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन यूलॉक्ट्रिक्स एलगी स्टार शेप इज प्रेजेंट इन जैगनीमा एलगी स्पाइरल शेप्स आर प्रेजेंट इन स्पाइरोगायरा रेटिकुलेट आर प्रेजेंट इन ऊडोगोनियम एंड डिस्कॉइड शेप क्लोरोप्लास्ट आर द फीचर ऑफ वाउचेरिया एलगी तो वी कैन सी दैट ग्रेटेस्ट वेरिएशन इन द शेप आर सीन इन एलगी विच यू कैन सी दीज आर द डिफरेंट शेप्स now the next one is the number what is the number of the chloroplast number to so again in higher plants in higher plants 20 to 40 chloroplast are present in a cell 20 to 40 20 to 40 chloroplasts are present in a cell in higher plants so this was all about the number if we talk about the structure if we talk about the structure of the chloroplast so you can see the diagram here that the chloroplast is composed of two membranes it is composed of two membranes means it is a double membraned organelle it has one outer membrane and one inner membrane and in between the outer and the inner membrane you can see a space is present and this space is called as peri plastidial space now if you see the structure to so inside you will be able to see two systems there are two systems present in the chloroplast one is known as grana and the another one is called as stroma this is the stroma this part this part is the stroma and it is making the matrix so we can say that matrix of the chloroplast is the stroma part and the rest this this thing just like the pile of coins the structure which you are able to see just like the pile of the coins are what grana so these are the grana and the stroma these are the two systems found in the chloroplast now in grana light reaction occur in grana light reaction occur and in stroma dark reaction occur there are two important reactions occurring in the photosynthesis light reaction and dark reaction light reaction occur in grana and dark reaction occur in the stroma first we are going to study the grana part in which the light reaction occur in which the light reaction occur to so, grana how many granas are present in a chloroplast to so, remember that 40 to 60 grana per chloroplast the number of grana is 40 to 60 per chloroplast right and one grana one grana consist of 
टेन टू हंड्रेड मेम्ब्रेन्स दैट इज ईच ग्राना इज मेड ऑफ टेन टू हंड्रेड मेम्ब्रेन्स कॉल्ड एज थाइले क्वाइट्स तो दिस एंटायर स्ट्रक्चर इज बेसिकली द ग्रेना which is made up of many membranes so this is a single membrane this is called a silicoid like this type at least 10 to 100 membranes combine and form what the grana so one grana consists of 10 to 100 membranes called as what the thylakoids this thylakoid word was given by a scientist known as menke the thylakoid term was given by the menke now own thylakoids own thylakoids what are present to so own thylakoids certain structures are present known as quanta somes own thylakoids what are present quanta somes are present these quanta somes are very important structures because they are structural and functional unit of chloroplast they are structural and functional unit of chloroplast and this term quanta some was given by park and begins this term quanta som was given by the park and the begins okay now one quanta som is equal to what one quanta som is equal to 230 chlorophyll molecules one quanta som is equal to 230 chlorophyll molecules means quanta som is bearing what chlorophyll molecules तो इन ग्रेना थाइलोकोइड्स प्रेजेंट ऑन थाइलोकोइड्स क्वांटासोम प्रेजेंट इन क्वांटासोम क्लोरोफिल प्रेजेंट व्हिच इज ट्रैपिंग द सनलाइट एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द फोटोसिंथेसिस तो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द ग्रेना एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट टू ग्रेना टू ग्रेना आर interconnected by fret channels by fret channels or stroma lamellae you can see here these are stroma lamellae or the fret channels the two granas are joined together with the help of the stroma lamellae or the fret channels now let's have a look on the matrix that is the stroma part the stroma part where the dark reaction occur now this part consists of this part consists of 70s ribosome and because of the ribosome it has the power of protein synthesis it also has circular dna just like prokaryotes and because of the circular dna it also has the power of replication and because of this two regions that the protein synthesis and the replication power the chloroplast is also called as just like mitochondria it is also called as semi autonomous semi autonomous original means for replication and protein synthesis it is not dependent on the cell now the riss and plout there were two scientists riss and plout who gave information about chloroplast dna who gave information about chloroplast dna so riss and plout were the scientists who gave information about the chloroplast dna 
now one term is used known as plastidum what is plastidum sum total of sum total of all plastids sum total of all plastids present in cell sum total of all plastids present in cell constitutes what the plastidum the chief function the chief function of the chloroplast is photo synthesis thank you so much students if you have liked my video please subscribe my channel share it and like it and also if you are facing any problem regarding any topic of the biology you can ask me in comment section i will give the answers to your questions as soon as possible